striking will be and the more submission opportunities you'll have. A dominant position also limits your opponent's offensive capabilities. Here you'll see how to transition as well as how to stand back up while you're in the top position. Okay, let's perform some transitions. If your opponent is attempting a transition, you'll need to learn how to block it. Maintaining control of the opponent at all times is difficult for even the best grappler. Take some time here to practice blocking the opponent's transitions. If the opponent puts you on your back, you'll need to perform transitions to escape back to the standing position. Here you'll see how to escape back to standing and avoid being on the wrong end of some ground and pound. Now it's your turn to work from the bottom and escape back to standing. Here's how you get back to your feet. Try to make sure that there is some distance between you and the opponent when you attempt to stand back up as you are vulnerable to the opponent's attacks. Go ahead and transition to kick the opponent off, then stand back up. From many of the ground positions, you can move to a sub position as seen here. <laughs> sub positions allow you to use stronger strikes as well as additional submission options. Let's see you throw some strikes from a sub position. Here you'll see how to perform submissions. You can do this from the top, the bottom, or even while you're standing in the clinch. However, there are certain positions where you will not be able to attempt any submissions at all. And remember that it's much easier to tap an opponent out if you secure a dominant position first. Let's attempt a submission. When you are successful in initiating a submission, the submission game begins. Two bars will appear inside an on-screen octagon HUD. A red bar for the red corner fighter and a blue bar for the blue corner fighter. As the attacker, and in order to complete the submission, you'll need to chase down and overlap the defender's bar. Overlapping the defender's bar long enough results in the submission being completed. You'll notice the cameras start to zoom in, indicating how close you are to finishing the submission. Now let's see how you do. Initiate and complete a submission.
The best way to avoid being caught in a submission is to avoid them altogether. Here's how to block a submission attack. You know the drill. Let's see you block a couple of submission attempts. Another way to get in and out of striking range is by executing step motions. Try using a step back to avoid attacks or a step into your opponent when you're close to them to shove them away and create some distance. If you want to close the distance quickly, try dashing towards your opponent. Some fighters are effective from both orthodox or southpaw stances. Here's how to switch your stance. Go ahead and try to execute a step, dash, or stance switch action now. Welcome to UFC Undisputed 3's Career Mode with Le Few individuals have what it takes to make it as a fighter. Few men can develop the kickboxing, wrestling, jiu-jitsu skills required to compete in every aspect of mixed martial arts are you one of these select few we are about to find out Welcome to UFC Undisputed 3's Career Mode. I'm Mike Goldberg. Now let's edit how you're fighting. Now that you've got the...